Good morning. It can't be anything other when you're at the beach. So the last couple days, when I arrived in Florida, seeing my mom pretty distraught and weak caused a lot of sadness, obviously. And I've been fighting every day through the prayers of others, my own time with Jesus to get past this. And God is so faithful. I just want to share what a morning looks like. I wake up and I feel heavy, heavy hearted. I feel scared about the future. I feel guilty about not doing more for the kingdom of heaven. I feel jealous of people who are doing more for the kingdom of heaven. I feel um, just all the negative feels. Now I could lay there and allow those to overtake me, but I came out on the beach and I started with what I knew. Just small, teeny tiny mustard faith and a really huge, big God. I start with Psalm 100 verse 5. It says, enter my gates with thanksgiving and into my courts with praise. And even though I didn't feel thankful, I just started thanking him that I have breath in my lungs. I thanked him that my husband is so supportive that I could be here with my mom for several months. I'm grateful for the time that I've had with her. I start thanking God for peace and for joy, even though at the moment I wasn't feeling it. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I go to John 14, 21, which says, if you love me, you will obey me. I will love you, my Father will love you, we'll show ourselves to you. And there's nothing more that I want than to see God. And the scripture that I walked in this morning was 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 17, 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. And I had to kind of check my heart because it's easy to start saying thank you and being a Pharisee. Saying it all from your head and not your heart. I had to slow down and say, God, I want this to come from my heart. Thank you for today. Your mercy is new today. If I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, everything else will add, be added unto me. I sang a couple songs. I envisioned with a childlike faith that the Holy Spirit is right here walking with me side by side. The closest, my shadow. Because Jesus told his disciples, even though he was descending into the heavens, he would not leave us alone. I went to Hebrews 11, 1. It says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, a conviction of things not seen. And even though I can't see Jesus with my physical eyes, even though I can't see the Holy Spirit is here to comfort me and to guide me, I thank him for it. Hebrews 11, 6, without faith, it is impossible to please God, but those who diligently seek him will be rewarded. So in faith and faith alone, thank you, Lord Jesus. And I started to pray for my husband, for my family, for my inner circles, and God put people on my heart, even to reach out to on text saying, look, praying for you. And then by the grace of God, the peace that passes all understanding. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in all things through prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Make your requests known to God, and the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your heart and mind in Christ. Well, guess what? That's true. I went to Ephesians 6, where it says, Resist the enemy, and he will flee. That's a promise of God. And I put on the armor of God, a breastplate of righteousness. I am righteous by the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, that he walked this planet 2,000 years ago. He suffered, he died, he rose again, the fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into the heavens, witnessed by 500 people, and he's coming back again. I am righteous only because of the blood of Christ. Just like in the Old Testament, when the Israelites killed the lamb and put the lamb's blood on their doorpost, the angel of death passed over. I have the blood of Christ on my heart. I am righteous. My plate of righteousness, shield of righteousness, is a gift. Ephesians 5, 2, 8, 9. I have nothing to brag about. I put on the belt of truth. The truth is I am no longer a slave to sin, but I am a child of the King. 
The truth is, if I confess my sin, he is faithful and just to forgive me and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And as far as the east is from the west, my sins are forgiven. I shod my feet with the gospel of peace. For you that don't know me that well, I am not by nature a nice person. I'm selfish, I'm an introvert, but I pray today for the Holy Spirit to give me the peace and the patience to be nice to everybody that I come in contact with today so I can spread a little peace. I pick up the sword, which is the word of God, to fight my battles. He tells us in Ezekiel 14, 14, he'll fight for us, especially when we're weak. The sword is the word of God. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may know God's perfect will for your life. Romans 12, 2. Then I ask for the shield of faith to surround me, to surround my family, because the enemy of God, and there is an enemy, the word of God talks about resist the devil and he will flee. The enemy is constantly throwing darts your direction, darts of fear, of anxiety, of worry, of guilt, self-loathing, doubt, confusion. Those are not from God. So I pray to shield of protection and I envision the angels themselves coming down from the heavens and holding the shield facing outward around me with their swords lifted high, fighting for me, fighting for you, fighting for my family. That shield to give me the wisdom of when a thought comes into my mind, that's not from the Heavenly Father to immediately get rid of it, take all, ca all thoughts captive, and then to put on the helmet of salvation. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. I struggle with the sound mind part, but I shouldn't because the truth says God hasn't given me a spirit of fear. He's given me a spirit of love and a sound mind. So that's how I started my morning off. In my quiet time. And unfortunately, it seems like day by day, it is a fight. And that's why it's so important to start your day off and the first thing when you wake up, clothed with the armor of God, saturated with the truth, and he'll get me through until tonight. I love you guys. Keep going, keep fighting, fight with the word of God.